So what's going on guys? Today is the last day of um 2013, so I decided just to have a really quick battle and um actually this was not quick at all. It was a really drawn out awesome match. Um I played really hard in this actually. This was one of the hardest the hardest I've ever played, I think. I made some crazy predictions uh, as well, so you guys will be seeing that in the battle. Um as you guys can see my team is totally different now. This team is finally complete with the Glisco on there. All I need now is Toxic Orb. So um which which my friend um is pretty much getting from me or already got from me. Uh so pretty much <laughs> this is it. Um so let me just start this battle up then and we can get right into it. This battle's gonna be pretty long, so get your popcorn out and just sit back and relax, I guess. Uh yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna lead off with my brush gun. Brush gun. Uh that's a Teen Titans reference if you did not know that. But um as he's gonna lead off with his ditto, which is a really smart play because now he just turned into my brush gun. Right here he's gonna go for spore. I actually kinda thought he might want to go for like a hazard right off the bat, since he is scarfed, um obviously. He just goes for spore right off the bat speed, so I can't set up my spikes or anything. Um and now he's gonna withdraw because he is, like I said, scarfed. Um, now he's gonna go into his Rotom, and I'm gonna be forced switch out here because I don't wanna, I don't wanna like uh, get murdered by Rotom. So I'm gonna go into my Kratos here, which I actually tried to double switch on him actually, but that happened. So I just switch out again into my Great Deku as he goes for Volt Switch. So um, I was kind of like, all right, he's probably going to his Infernape, which Infernape looks pretty friggin' cool in this game, to be honest. Uh, excuse me. So he's about to see the Milton Friday. This thing looks freaking sick. Um, I'm gonna be forced to switch out here because you know in front of will destroy my my um in front of will just totally destroy my um Trevenant. I'm gonna go to my Glitch score here as he goes for U-turn, predicting the switch. So he's gonna go back out into his uh I don't know. I'm not I'm not psychic. Into his Greninja. There we go. Which was um a good a good counter to Glitch score. And as you guys can see, I don't have um, I don't have Life Orb. I mean, I don't have Toxic Orb yet, but I will be having it in my next battles most likely. Uh -huh, um, so I'm gonna go back to my Great Deku here, which was not a really smart play because he actually ends up going for Ice Beam, which uh, I thought I thought he might just want to go for for the um, Scald or Surf or Hydro Pump, but no Water type move in general. But he goes for Ice Beam, um, which was all around best move in his part. So I'm gonna go to my Kratos now. Um, knowing he might want to go for another Ice Beam, which I could, um, with Kratos, could just eat up. And I'm going to a Mega, I'm going to Mega Evolve on this turn, just so I could have it, um, and I'll have to, um, risk, uh, doing it, like, on a turn where I'm not, where I'm against, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm going to do it while he's about to freaking run away, so, um, I'm just going to take that, uh, U-turn nicely as he's going to go into his... Uh, he's gonna go into his um freaking Rotom, which actually does not take the um worst for that well. Well, it actually does take it well, but I mean, it's a, it is a pretty nice chunk. It is about um that does like a clean uh thirty percent. I I would think about thirty percent. Um, as I'm gonna withdraw my Blastoise, send in Gliscor again, knowing he's gonna go for a Electric type move, and I did that because um. Actually, yeah, because I, I just want to see what he might go for, and then right here, right here, um, I would do a really risky play on this turn, as, as I'm going to stay in and go for the Toxic, thinking he might, thinking he might over-predict me, and go for, uh, um, go for the, um, full Switch again, but he actually goes for will o which would have been, pre which would have been prevented if I had Toxic War, but, I mean, it's good, because he doesn't murder my Gliscor, <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna be able to get a toxic off him, which actually gonna help me later in the battle. So, um, this camera's a bit off. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm gonna switch out here, knowing he's probably gonna go for Hydro Pump now. But actually, he goes for Confuse Ray, which I, I kind of found odd because he could have just took out my he could have easily just took out my um good score then and there. But maybe he, maybe he saw a switch. So um, he he it was in his best interest just to keep on going for um moves other than Hydro Pump. Since uh, my Glisco couldn't touch him at all, so now 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 he's gonna Volt Switch out here, uh, knowing that I'm a threat 
But as he both switches, I'm actually going to go for rest here so I get all my HP back and get rid of that confusion as I'm going to switch out after doing that. So I knew he sent me the friend ape. It was, it was pretty obvious. Um, but I was confused, so I wouldn't want to go shoot for the attack. Cause I might, might backfire and then I'd be on low health and I'd be screwed because, you know, Trevor Nate can't really outspeed anything on his team, I don't think. So I'm going to get HP back from that, which is awesome because I'm back on full health. And that's like that that rest doing there actually kind of saved me the match later in the battle. You'll see that later in the battle. So that doing for that rest kind of um, if if I didn't go for that rest, I would have probably lost this battle. Um, you're gonna see why. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go to my um, talent flame now, seeing as it's a good chance to go into it. As um, I'm gonna double switch on him actually, go into my um, Bashagan now. Cause the reason I want to do that now because um, the way t um, sleep works in this game, I think uh. It like it wears off the more you switch in. I think, I think I think that's how it works. I'm not sure, but he's gonna go for the um, side shock, which doesn't kill me. I'm gonna go for spore now, and I'm gonna be able to set up my hazards and stuff, um, which is great because you know that the rocks and that and the talent flame is gonna really work out nicely. Uh, I think he's a talent flame most team. I'm, I wasn't really paying attention actually. Uh, <laughs> so I'm um, not. He's gonna go to his ditto as I'm gonna go for stone edge. Uh, actually, no, he's going to do it as I go for um, Sneaky Webs, actually, because um, he has a lot of fast Pokemon on his team that I want to just um, slow their roll. Um, so right now, I'm going to switch out and go into my Blastoise. I know for certain he's not going to go for another Spore. He's going to go for his Hazards now because there's no point in him going for Spore on a weekend Ditto. I mean, on weak, on weekend Smeargle. He's going to go for Sneaky Webs like I predicted. I'm just going to be able to um, Rapid Spin them. And I know he's not gonna go for spore on my um, on my blast was because he's locked into sticky webs. So I'm actually gonna be able to rapid spin those away, which is great. Because now I got no hazards on my side, he has some hazards on his side. And um I actually um I'm actually gonna switch in my my smear go in right here purposely so that he can't go into his ditto on my smear go again. Or actually no, never mind, I stay in. I know I can take the vote switch. And I'm going to go for the, um, I think I'm going to go for the, uh, excuse me, Dragon Pulse on this turn. As you going to go for Ditto again. And Ditto is actually doing a lot of work in this battle, believe it or not. Because Ditto is freaking awesome. It <laughs> really, um, he's going to get a speed fall. And I'm going to hit him with a Dragon Pulse on the switch in. Which is going to take out, um, about 50%, 50-60%. It's going to be over half, so, um, I'm going to switch now. Knowing that, uh... Knowing that he's probably just going to wreck me or something. Oh, no, no. I switched knowing he's going to go for Rapid Spin. There we go. Because he wants to get away those, um, those Sticky Webs. I'm going to go to my, um, I'm going to go into my, uh, Trevor on that. So that was an awesome play for me. Uh, so now he's, he, so now he's kind of screwed now because he has to let this thing get slowed down. And as he's going to switch into his Inferno Ape, I'm going to be able to hit him with a, um, a critical hit, uh, Shadow Claw, which is nice. You know, them hacks, them hacks now and then are really nice. It's gonna take really um to weaken this thing up. As he's gonna go for a um, fire punch again, I'm gonna go into my um my uh talent flame. And as he switches out here, he thinks I'm gonna go for a um he thinks I'm gonna go for a uh, brave bird. Actually, I am gonna go for a brave bird. <laughs> so what he thought would happen happens, but instead I get another crit, which is great. So I'm getting all those hacks right now. Great um. Hey, what that crit actually really saved my life in this battle because now he 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 has at the range where um I could take him out with another Brave Bird, so that's awesome. And I in the, um from that range I could take him out with another Brave Bird and also survive the recoil and be able to roost it off. So that's just that's just that's just great. Um, so that the um Rotom's down, which is awesome because you know I want Rotom to be dead. I I really don't like Rotom being around too long in battles. He's gonna go to his um ditto right there, right here. He's gonna get slowed down, but the reason I didn't stay in here and go for my brave bird is because two reasons. I I wanted to save my uh, talent flame to be able to take out his infernape and his um and his um Greninja, and also I wasn't sure if I could outspeed him there even after the um even after the uh the uh what's it called the uh sticky webs um debuff. Um, because he was Scarf, and, uh, even though Scarf, I think Scarf raises your, uh, speed by 1.5. Stick Webs lowers it by 1.5, I, I believe. So, it would be a speed tie, and, um, I, I didn't want to risk it. So, yeah, 
I'm going to go to my um, time right now, which I, I think I thought should have been obvious. But right now, I'm going to make an awesome prediction as he goes into his um, schedule. I'm going to go for Earthquake. This could have backfired if he had, if he did have um, Air Balloon. This could have backfired hugely. Because then he would have been able to um, really set up on me and stuff. But um, I'm going to just get lucky there pretty much and be able to kill him with the um, Earthquake. And I knew I, I knew that whatever came in was gonna get hit by the earthquake because um you wouldn't stay in. He 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 couldn't really do much if he stayed in and then Gris getting hit by a stone edge and also uh, not doing much with Brave Bird getting Brave Bird recoil stuff. So um I knew I would be in like good position there. I'm gonna go to my Glisco here, see what he might go for. He's gonna go for U turn, that's not gonna do anything at all. Um he's gonna switch out. I um believe he's gonna go to his uh Greninja now. Which was kind of I still kind of saw that coming. I mean, it's 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 sort of obvious, but I mean, um, it's in his best interest to go into Greninja now because Greninja is faster and also um, one Ice Beam could pretty much just ravage, pretty much like the dev it'll pretty much devastate my freaking Gliscor. So, I mean, yeah, I must switch here because I don't want to get annihilated. I'm gonna go to my Brush Gun now just to sack it. Um. Because there's no point in switching anything into a move that I'm not sure what it's going to use. Nothing wants to really take an Ice Beam. Two Ice Beams, actually. So my Brush Gun was the perfect um, Death Fodder here. As now, I'm just going to go into my... Um, I'm just going to go into my uh, Ganta now. And I know that Ganta will easily just take him out with one Brave Bird. So um, I, I know he knows that too. So he's going to switch out here into his, Renu into his Reuniclus. Because he knows Reuniclus could take a Brave Bird. And... Um, uh, Dr. Recoil, but actually I'm gonna roost here, knowing he, knowing he would switch out into something. And, um, so now I can hit his random cluster and I won't get murdered by, um, by, uh, that, uh, recoil. So I'm gonna bulk up here, thinking he might, um, thinking he might either wake up, or, um, <laughs> he might either wake up, or, uh, stay asleep. So, and he actually recovers that, thinking I will go for a brave bird now. So you just take all the damage back, and the only thing I would have is just recoil. But I just bulk up there like a smart, like that was a really smart play. Now he's gonna go for combine here. He actually goes for combine as I go for the brave bird. He thought he thought that he could live it over half, but um, he kind of um, overshot it a bit, and his recoil dies from it. Uh, if you would have went for a yeah, side shot there, he could have killed my Ganta, and he would have probably won the match. Uh, why well, I, I kind of just spoiled it for you guys. Never mind. <laughs> uh, pretend I didn't say that. Pretend you didn't hear anything. Um, anyways, now he's going to go into his Ditto. His Ditto's on low health now. He's going to get that Stick Webs. Stick Webs is really useful. Um, it's, really, it's really useful in this, uh, in this uh, gen. Because of all the fast pokes and stuff. Now we got um, hashes that lower your speed. So that's great. So now I'm going to go to my great Deku here. Here's what I... It's the, I this, you guys might think this is kind of stupid. But the reason I did this was because... Um, if I had done this, this guy would probably just destroyed my team actually, and uh, Ditto would still been alive. And I, I don't really need my um, I don't really need my Trevenant anymore actually. So I just kind of just sacrificed just to kill this Ditto with recoil. So, like I said, excuse me, if I haven't went, if I didn't go for rest um, near the beginning of the battle, he would have survived the recoil. Who would have survived the recoil? Excuse me, he would have survived the recoil and uh, been able to kill me. Now he's gonna go with now this is kinda where he gets kinda desperate. He's gonna switch into his um Infernape. Hoping that um the recoil kills me after I brave bird him. But um what happens is that um the reason uh the reason he did this is because he knows that um he knows that once my talent flame dies, his um his uh, grenade can just destroy the rest of my team with ease. But as I said by with twelve HP, I, I bet he's probably raging at this point. Because I mean, so I'm with 12 HP. That's that's just luck, pretty much. Um, when I went for that Brave Bird, I th I thought I would die, to be honest. But right here, I survived. I'm just gonna Brave Bird him, and Ganta just finished the battle for us. Thank you, Ganta. And his Greninja goes down, and that is the game, guys. Uh, I played really hard in this match, to be honest. Um, I did a lot of predicting, and Ganta's just gonna sacrifice his life there. You did good, Ganta. You did good. So I mean, that was a really nice match. Good game, Devin. Uh. Yeah, alright, yeah, so, he didn't have a talent flame, I'm not sure why he, oh, no, 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 he had a fire tie, that's why I wanted to say the rocks, um, anyways, that was a nice game, uh, rate, comment, sub, guys, the, um, the, uh, little giveaway will be happening tomorrow, I will release the, um, the, um, uh, it'll be the drawing, the drawings will be tomorrow, for all you guys who want, who are wondering, so, uh, just stay tuned for that, I guess, 
and there's only gonna be ten winners. So if you don't win, I mean, at least you try. There's no um real backfire to that. And I'll also be doing, I'll be doing some more little giveaways too in the future. So uh, you guys, if you guys want some more Pokemon, just enter that too. You might be a lucky winner. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, sub, and peace.